Hey everybody, it's Matt Fury from Avid here in what is the living snow globe of Park City, Utah. It's Utah, right? I think so, yes. Here at the 40th annual Sundance Film Festival, talking to some, talking to some incredible filmmakers, editors, composers even. One of those editors is with me now. Editor Lynn Hobson is here. She has a film called Border Hopper. A short, I think this is the first short film we've covered so far. Lynn, tell me a little bit about Border Hopper. Um, yeah, I um, worked with the director, Nico Casavecchia, many years ago cutting his uh, live action movie called Finding Sophia. So that's how I got to know him. Um, since then, he's been off doing things, I've been off doing things, and um, he had this short film and I couldn't resist but helping him put it together. So it's a, a mix of live action and animation, and mostly I work in animation, so it all meshes together and I, it's, it was a great project to work on. So. so you say it was something you couldn't resist. What was it about the project that you just said, ah, I gotta do this? Well, I love working with him, first of all. His films are great. And um, it was dear to his heart because it was it's a film about um, navigating the uh, American system of, you know, getting visas and everything, being able to live here. He's from Argentina. So um, it was a story that was, you know, happened to him and his wife, and he's like, I have to make a short film about this. So it, you know, it's, it's a great movie. So, and then he does animation on his own as well as hires companies to do it. And um, so doing the live action and the animation is just natural to me because I do a lot of animation too. So, okay, yeah. so you do a lot of animation. Animation is famous for being, you, you do a, a animated feature, it's going to take years. It's a very linear process where these steps have to be, for the most part, followed one after the other. Here you're doing a short film, and it's a mix of live action and animation. How did it feel to you to change the process so dramatically that way? Um, it's incredibly different than doing like a feature film that takes several years. Right now I'm working at Paramount on a, a Transformers animated feature that's coming out in the summer. Um, and that, like, oh God, you're like putting up just storyboards for like a year before you start to get like previs and then go into animation and then go into lighting. So it's this long process of storytelling that evolves over the years. When it's a short, it's a much more consolidated amount of time and there's only so much money and time spent to play with the story. Um, and once, you know, we kind of get the, the, the um, gist of the film put together, he had to go away and get the animation done, so you know he kind of took it to the company that was doing the animation segments to drop them in in the middle of the live action part. So it kind of evolved that way in a much shorter period of time for me to be a part of it. So yeah. okay, so you have the condensed schedules, condensed budgets, you know, versus doing a feature working for Paramount. Uh, in terms of the editorial setup, obviously you're doing a studio thing, a lot of nice uh, <laughs> things laid out for you in advance. Yeah. Uh, what was the editorial setup for Border Hopper and, and the basic workflow for it? Well, I have an avid at my house, so and I've done features at my house before, including his live action one like six or seven years ago, whenever that was. Um, so I'm very used to doing a home, you know, kind of one man show. I did hire an assistant editor to help me and then Nico had his team. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, you, you managed to do it. They filmed it, I think on a red camera, so we had to ingest all the footage that way at my house, the whole thing, organizing it. Um, and then he took it out from my Avid to finish it elsewhere, just to light, color correct and everything and put the animation in and then, you know, mix it, the whole thing, so. What was the most challenging aspect of doing uh, Border Hopper? Oh, the most challenging aspect. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have an answer for that. <laughs> I, you don't need an answer for everything. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, wow, the most challenging thing. I think Nico works internationally, so once I needed to turn it over to him, he takes it to, like, Argentina to do the mix, and then the, his composer's actually here at the festival. I don't know if you've talked to him yet. Um, Not yet. No, oh, I should set you up. He's well, pretty please. awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah, I think just that, you know, he takes it away, and then I'm like, you're mixing in Argentina, I don't get to be part of the mix. So that is challenging, but, you know, I trust him. Clearly, he's the director, and he has this vision, and he always does an amazing job, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure you both did an amazing job on Border Hopper. I think your warmth actually made the snow go away. Somehow in the span of this five-minute interview, <laughs> the snow. So thank you for that, Lynn. I thank you for coming and talking to yeah, us today. thank you so much. It was a pleasure. All right. Well, so there you have it. Another amazing editor here at Sunday. It's so many more to come. So stick with us on the Avid social channels, and we'll see you there.